that's fine. Just, uh, just start the footage right here, and, and, and that way people will be really confused, and, and I'll get a good Andy Kaufman laugh out of it. Done! All right. I miss Andy Kaufman. So, um, the story of the Pokemons. We, we were right in the middle of this of this big Star Wars campaign. They, they finished an act, and I wasn't really in the mood to continue on going, and just kind of really not in the mood for much, and they just really wanted to play. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. So I throw together this adventure. They go around. They're doing the this their usual Star Wars stuff. They're using the Force over here. They're shooting stuff over here. And then I mentioned that they got to go out, and they got to investigate this lab. On the way there, I, I mentioned that this small, red, lizard-looking creature with fire on its tail comes walking out of the woods and attacks them. In retrospect, they really should have got it at that point, but they didn't. And I'm like, huh. Well, I'm going to see how much longer I, 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 can, I, can, I can push this out. So they they're they're fighting him and they're fighting him and they're and they're finding out that they're 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 plasma weapons, which I was counting as doing fire damage, wasn't very effective against this thing. And I hadn't even said that out loud. It's not very effective to them. They still didn't get it. <laughs> so they, they, they continue on into the woods. And, and, and sure enough, they, they, they come across, I, I described it as this like peaceful grotto in the middle of the woods where these, there were two large beams of sunlight on either side just shining down. And, and between those two boxes of sunlight were two weird plants. And they're like, oh, well, well, well we, 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 we approach the plants slowly. And, and, and then I said, suddenly the, the, the plants pop up and you discover that they're on the backs of large creatures. And, and, and one of them shoots these two vines out and grabs the both of you and, like, wait a minute. I'm like, what? Are we fighting Pokemon? And I'm like, yes. Yes, you are. You just killed a Charmander and now you're fighting some Ivysaurs. Then I mentioned that one of them was heading for the Beam of Light. And I remember it well because Sosha's face just went pale. Because <laughs> he realized what, what attack he was about to do. So they immediately pounce on this guy and just start shooting him with their plasma weapons, which are fire-based, which are super effective. They, they, they eventually get to the lab, and they're exploring the lab, and of course there's, you know, the, the standard lab thing, you know, just tubes everywhere, with, and I describe various different Pokemon in them. They get to the end of the lab, and they find the insane professor who, 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 who sicks a Dragonite on him, because, you know... I like Dragon Pokemon. So it's decided he was going to have his character, he was playing back at the time, jump up and grab onto his foot. And I was like, all right, there's no way he's going to get this. Set the DC so high he needed a 20 for this to work. Sure enough, he got a 20. Just ran up there, jumped on and latched onto his foot. Of course, that was all he could do because this was Bacchus we're talking about. <laughs> And everything else seemed to fail as this thing flew around the flew, flew around, uh, I almost said ring flew around the room, you know, unleashing you know dragon rush and hyper beam and all those cool dragon attacks upon the party. Eventually, you know, they 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 vanquished the evil dragonite, defeated the vile professor, and made their way back home. And I thought that was a good wrap-up to it. Of course, they wanted to keep going, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> and they gotta come up with more adventures with Pokemon? Do I, do I have them come across a planet where, where Pokemon is just a thing? I, I could do that, but then again, I already established that this is like some crazy scientist doing this, so 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 is, is, is would I have to be say he's from that planet? Why would he leave that planet? Uh, it's, you know, like, these were the ideas that went through my head, and just, just none of them panned out. I guess if there's a moral to be had here, uh, outright stealing stuff, like, doesn't hurt. Remember, remember, if, if, if you steal from one person, it's theft. If you steal from everybody, it's, 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 it's research. I actually got another story about that, 
that'll that'll have to to enlighten you on uh, later. But we're we're actually still in the middle of that one. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of end this episode here by just by saying that uh, you know. Uh, 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 Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this stuttery, rambly mess. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Someone call a medic. Oh god. Oh god, he's locked again. Oh god. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they stopped the day. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to do this old-fashioned way. Um, I don't have any pedals. I'm gonna have to rewire the lights to... It's part of the gimmick, isn't it? I'm sorry. Um, I'm supposed to sit here quietly. I so... All I know is I, I need this to happen in order to cut. Okay, so... Until that glass hits the ground, I can't do anything. Or, the table. I don't want to hit the ground. My God, what do we do without this, right?